There's a video I made for The Breakfast Club called Sargon is no George Carlin. And he's not. He's not really funny. George Carlin would say things that could piss people off, but he was genuinely funny. He was witty. Sargon is not. Sargon just says things that will piss off people that he considers snowflakes. And the only reason really to laugh at his humor is if you think that it will piss off people you consider snowflakes. You don't actually find what is said to be funny. You find funny the idea of pissing off snowflakes, of triggering snowflakes. And you know what? I, I, I get that. There was a period of time where I was in that same mindset, particularly back when I made that, uh, oh, I think I might be red-pilled, right? When I made that video. Yeah. You know, I get it. But it's not really funny. It's just finding a bit of humor in pissing people off. What I don't understand at all is this mindset where people are claiming that Sargon and Trump and anyone who is right of center as fascist. I mean, do you think someone, if, if they're racist and they want power, that means they're fascist? I mean, is that, are those the standards you have for what someone needs to be to be considered fascist? Do they just need to be right of center? I mean, how many of you who call Trump and people like Sargon fascist and Count Dankula fascist, do you consider the majority of the Republican Party fascist? I'm just kind of curious. What are your standards for what you consider to be fascist? Please let me know in the comments, because I'm confused. I'm honestly, honestly confused. Thanks.